Hello everyone, hope you're all having a good day and um, staying positive, although it seems to be like there's a mad panic all of a sudden. Um, it's like, like when Christmas creeps up on you, it's kind of like that. You know what I mean? All of a sudden it's like, fuck, excuse my language. Um, yeah, it's like, uh-oh. So, yeah, I don't know, I mean, I just walked past some people and um, they, like, pulled their scarves up over their face and stuff and not seen anyone with a mask on around here yet. <laughs> but um, I think I will soon. It's getting that way. Um, we've already had a local person definitely got it, like, went to hospital with it after going into isolation and got worse, and, um, yeah, it's, it's, people are starting to panic a lot now, um, I'm just trying to stay calm, um, sort of keep, keep myself to myself like I normally do, but get out and get fresh air with Bell still, and try and do what I normally do, really, um, but, yeah, just I'm gonna go and do a shop and get, get a load of things in um, in a few days, and uh, I don't even know whether, whether there's gonna be food in there. So I got told the other day that the frozen section was empty in the shop, the local supermarket. We've got one supermarket in our town, and um, yeah, all the toilet rolls were bought, and um, all the frozen food was gone. Uh, uh, I don't know, there's all sorts of stuff being said, like, you know what I mean, I've read loads of things, apparently you're only allowed four items per person or something, or per people, um, I don't know, um, four of each thing, that is, but I'm just going to get some, I don't know, tin food and stuff, and stuff for, for the freezer, and then, um, stuff to make things I think um, make up my own meals big meals and f freeze them maybe I don't know see what happens I might let you all know about that and uh, do a little cooking thing if I go into self isolation but I will still be coming out unless I get ill really ill I will still be coming out and doing my walks with Belle um, as I've obviously I've got to and also, I want to, um, I, I, I couldn't stay locked up inside, you know what I mean, if, if I don't walk well, someone else has got to, so, I think I've just got to, to, to sort of get out here, maybe get a mask if necessary, um, I mean, I've got, got this, I've got another, Thing at home, do I need to get a mask or I can just use that? Well, who knows? Um, I'll have to see, but I'm trying not to panic, even though I think I'm at risk of being one of the the people that might that could die from it if you got it, sort of thing, um, because of the treatment and stuff. Sorry if it's windy, wind's just picked up. I'll try it there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna. I've called the pharmacy and stuff like that because I'm on another medication and I have to go in for one of them daily. And uh, I just um, I I'm wondering if they can't change that to giving me um, so I don't have to go in as much because like all the sick people are going into the pharmacies to get medication and stuff like that, and then I'm going in there who's at risk of. I've got. I don't. I don't think I've got a very good immune system after all the treatment. So I don't know if there's anyone else out there that that's in this position. Um, let me know. And uh, also, like, what about the medication that people um, that people are on that are addicted to it and rely on it not just for pain relief or or epilepsy or other met like anxiety and stuff like that but also because they've been on it for long enough for when if they just stop they're gonna get ill from that so 
it's going to make them weaker again. So there's going to be a lot of people that I don't know. I'm just I'm praying um, for the whole world right now for everyone. Um, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for me. I'm praying for my daughter. I'm praying for my family. I'm praying for your family, everyone's family, and just humankind. <laughs> I don't know, is this some sort of super bug? I don't know. No, we're going to be fine. It'll all be sorted soon. That's that's my theory. Money. Pharmaceutical money. You know, legal drug dealers releasing a virus and then suddenly they've got an antivirus for it. Some sort of James Bond stuff there. there. <laughs> Anyway, there could be so many theories, but all I can suggest is just to do what you feel is necessary and what people are suggesting, like staying in, um, if, necess if not needed to go out, then don't go out, don't go to the pubs and stuff like that. Um, try to avoid sick people um, and just, uh, yeah, generally be hygienic, clean your hands a lot and stuff like that, that's, yeah. Um, I'm going to leave it there and uh, probably head back now. Um, it's not a nice weather-wise day, um, but I'm feeling okay. And uh, Belle's, she's just over there munching a stick, but yeah, <clears throat> we're out together still. Well, we will always be together. Yeah, it's alright, I'm talking to the camera. Talking to all my people out there on the camera, look. they're all there watching us. See, can you see them, Bell? Say hello. She says hello, everyone. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go. I'll speak to you all soon. Yeah, you stay strong, keep fighting, and try and stay positive. Um, I don't know whether social media is the best thing to take advice from um, <laughs> right now because I'm getting all sorts of stuff pop pop-ups and stuff like that that are telling me all sorts of things but I just go with like the I don't know what the BBC say really and take it with a pinch of salt as well maybe see what happens everyone but yeah just try and stay positive and my prayers are with everyone um, I, with all, all of you, I'm praying for you um, to bring you strength and uh, just um, to keep everyone safe from this uh, horrible virus that's going around and um, for it to not be as bad as it could be. Um, I'll leave it there. God bless everyone. Um, lots of love. See you soon. Bye.